So I had to replace an electric wall heater in my house, and as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Inside the old heater was a blower motor. I thought, hey, I can make a crude little housing for this out of foam board and attach it to one of my brushless motors. So I traced the circle of the impeller and then drew a gradual spiral expanding from that circle until the discharge nozzle. I copied that piece and I mounted my motor to some fancy plywood and glued that in place. I made sure that the impeller was spinning in the right direction. No, no, it's spinning the wrong way. <laughs> no. And then I just cut a hole in the center as an intake port. The way this works is that the spinning vanes in the impeller make the air spin too, flinging it out like children on a merry-go-round. The air moving outward sucks more air into the center of the impeller and discharges pressurized air at high velocity out of the discharge port, and it works pretty good. This is the same concept as used on turbochargers, vacuum cleaners, centrifugal jet engines, and even water pumps for car engines. I was surprised at how well it worked and how much thrust it produced. It pulled around 350 watts of power, which is exactly what the motor is rated for when spinning its recommended 8-inch propeller. And I thought, I'm sure I could power an airplane with this, just point the blowy part backwards, right? So I sketched a design, and just last night I built an airplane around the blower. I made a removable nose for the battery, and I used the wing and tail from the airplane in my last video. I hung the airplane by a string with its nose rested on a scale, and I found that I was getting about 400 grams of thrust. The total weight of the airplane was 863 grams. Spinny do head. Okay, it spins out air that way. The tail and the wing look at approximately good angles. It's balanced right about here. It's a little nose heavy still, but it's relatively heavy. Oh, it seems to fly. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, that's weird. I missed back? my gyro, man. Alright, let's trim. So I put this gyro on it, and so it should probably be a little more stable now. It's three axis gyro. And I've got a camera on it. Let's start recording now. And then I'm gonna fly down this airstrip and off over into this bluff. Right into the into the beach here. I've never seen anyone else do this before, and so unless the comments prove me wrong, I hereby claim first. My centrifugal blower was pretty crude and it was not nearly as efficient as a propeller. At 350 watts, my motor with an 8 inch propeller is supposed to produce more than twice the thrust that I got from the blower motor. Of course, a larger, slower propeller is always more efficient and more quiet than a faster one. So I wonder how my thrust to power consumption compares with that of an EDF.
pretty good.